What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought this Meguiar's Mirror Glaze, and I want to show it to you. We'll actually try it out on my Plymouth Prowler. So on the top of my headlights, I have a little bit of oxidation, a little bit where the, the paint is dulling, and you can see actual scratches, not just micro scratches, but um, actual scratches. And it's just dull. It looks worse than the rest of the paint on the car, and it's, you know, flat. So I think that's part of the reason. Now, I picked this up. Uh, because it's a fine cut cleaner like a polishing compound and it's not too heavy but it is pretty heavy so what I like about the Meguiar's products is they put this kind of uh, graduated gauge of how much of a cutting compound this is and so this is like right in the middle uh, not a light cut kind of a medium cut and they call it the fine cut and I thought this might be good because I definitely have noticeable oxidation so what I will do here is just do uh, apply this I'm actually gonna apply it by hand uh, shake it up we'll put a little bit of a, a little dot on this little foam pad that I also got off of Amazon I really like these because they have just a little bit of texture kind of like a magic eraser but they are certainly aren't sharp because once I get it uh, um, polished up a little bit I will just kind of clean it up with this microfiber cloth also purchased on Amazon I bought this and I think in a 20 pack and I bought this in a 12 pack I will put links to both in the description but then I'll probably just use my uh, car detailing solution that also has a little bit of wax in it and I think that hopefully that should look pretty good so let's give it a shot so out here with my prowler and this uh, panel right here at the top of the headlight is what I'm talking about and you might be able to see here maybe a little tough in the light but you can see it is really, you can see the scratches there. Um, it's just really faded, you know, as, a re as opposed to the rest of the paint, which is really shiny and metallic, this has really lost its luster. I mean, even though the car isn't clean here, you can see reflection in the paint. As we're down here, you know, you're seeing shadow, but you're not seeing any reflection. And it's that way all the way across. Um, even down here on the side, the paint gets much better, much glossier, much more reflective. But as we go up here, you just lose all that reflection. So I've gone ahead and shaken up my Meguiar's here uh, quite well. And what I'm going to do now is just to put a little bit of a little quarter sized dollop on my little foam pad here. One thing I will say, totally on an unrelated note, the Meguiar's stuff is <laughs> compound is exactly the same color as the bottle. So. All right, I'm just gonna kind of dab it, dab, dab it along the top here where I wanna apply it. And then we'll just kind of go in a nice gentle circular motion. So after working this by hand, I realized that uh, the improvement here was almost not noticeable at all. So I needed to move on to something with a little bit more power. So here we go with power tools. All right, so doing it by hand obviously didn't work. So I have my cordless drill out here with the, the foam polishing pad on there. And we'll use a little bit of this to, again, uh, see if we can still make it work. I'm gonna put a little bit on the pad itself and then just a little bit on the top of the light here and see if we can get it looking good. Now I did more passes with this than I filmed and I also wasn't putting any noticeable pressure, just kind of letting the weight of the drill uh, kind of do the work here. All right guys, so if you have access to power tools, you should always use them. <laughs> There's no reason not to. Um, definitely the power tools helped. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get a good angle here with the light, but it certainly added um, some shine back to it. I wouldn't say it's in uh, as good a condition as the rest of the paint. I'd still be a little kind of wiping it off there, but it's much better. You know, the kind of those deep scratches are gone. And so I'm pretty impressed with this fine cut cleaner. Now I will say you probably want to keep going to a lighter, lighter cut and then kind of end with a one of those big rotary polishers to get some real speed. You just can't get kind of the speed I think you need out of a drill like this for, for most jobs. It's just going to kind of be for, you know, improving on your hand. Um, and again here too, you know, I can definitely see, you know, I'm getting more shine on it and uh, the big scratches are, are gone. So that's good. Um, the car could probably just use a full detail across the board anyway. So we may end up doing that too, but so far, I kind of like that. Worked pretty well for a home job, at least. Peter Moore panned out. 